This module is specifically related to the issues of research and publications when it comes towards reporting the research results. This is very important that once we have completed the complete research project, how we are going to report that. Psychologists do not fabricate data is the first and foremost important thing to understand. If psychologists discover significant errors in their published data, they take reasonable steps to correct that, such as error in correction, detraction, erratum, or other appropriate publication means. Let's say what data publish ho gaya, or wo open to everyone hai, it's an open access and everyone could read that. Or us information mein aapne later on uh, ye assess kiya ke koi problem thi. So it's your ethical responsibility, it's the ethical responsibility of that researcher, that psychologist to immediately inform that uh, publication agency, the journal or the newspaper that this error has been done. So, if we don't do this, then that research may lead towards many other researches which will use data and use data and the harmful effects of that data and the harmful data of fabrication and the data of genuine incorrect data will have to see the consequences of our consequences. Now, let's say where is the fabrication? The fabrication is that which is very much important to understand at times, generally, the inexperienced researcher, the, sometimes the student of psychology, if I carefully say, and maybe some professional researchers. They tend to do that they fabricate the data to get results which are appropriate for them and they can quickly publish them. This is one of the highly unethical practice which has ever been seen in world of ethics. Because if you fabricate data and you generate research which is not actually true, it's a big crime. So, we produce results, we give these statements, we give hypotheses, we direct them, which actually exist, right? Then plagiarism. Plagiarism is something, uh, I think, today, every individual who is academic or related, who is research related, is well aware of the term plagiarism. And uh, today, there are many soft pairs that are deducted plagiarism. So, ethical responsibility is a little bit reduced. But still, people have many ways to reduce that plagiarism in an unappropriate manner. But psychologists do not present portions of another works or data as their own, even if the other work or data sources is cited occasionally. हम ये नहीं कर सकते कि किसी और के काम को हम अपने काम के तौर पर प्रेजेंट करें और हम उसको साइट ना करें हम उसको ड्यू क्रेडिट ना दें बल्कि इनफैक्ट हम उसके काम को रीराइट करके उसके सोर्स को क्रेडिट करके अपने काम में ऑनर कर सकते हैं एंड दैट वुड नॉट बीइंग कंसीडर्ड इनटू प्लेजरिज्म लेकिन अगर हम ऑल टुगेदर किसी का कुछ टोटल कंटेंट कॉपी कर लेते हैं एंड वी क्लेम दैट दैट दिस इज बीइंग रिटन बाय अस आइदर इट्स अ रिसर्च पेपर आइदर इट्स अ जर्नल uh, either it's a research report or either it's some paper uh, or a thesis maybe, it's highly unethical. Then talking about the publication credit. This is something very important to understand what does the publication credit means. Psychologists take credit and responsibility including authorship credit only for the work they have actually performed or substantially contributed. अगर कोई ऐसा रिसर्च वर्क है जो आपने कभी किया ही नहीं जिसका आप कभी पार्ट ही नहीं रहे जिसके किसी प्रोसीजर का आप हिस्सा नहीं बने ना राइट अप का ना उसके डेटा कलेक्शन का ना उसकी सुपरविजन का और आप उसको अपने काम के तौर पे क्रेडिट कर रहे हैं उस पब्लिकेशन में अपना नाम एज एन ऑथर रिफ्लेक्ट कर रहे हैं दिस इज कॉल्ड अनएथिकल दिस इज कॉल्ड अ क्राइम एंड दिस इज टेकिंग एन अन ड्यू पब्लिकेशन क्रेडिट Principal authorship and other publication credits accurately reflect the relative scientific and professional contributions. And I would like to share this with students that if a work is primarily being done by a student, the first author should be the student always and the second author should be the supervisor. However, in some institutions, this is required that if after a certain period of time, let's say six months and one year, the student is unable to do work they may have this condition that the, stu that the student may uh, lose the right of being the first author, but still he would be the second. But 
this is need to be very carefully seen that if the student has been working and he is interested to get the work being published so you cannot just take the right of the student and you cannot just deprive him from that publication credit so the researchers needs to understand they they just can't you know take the credit of the students on their own duplicate publication of data is another important thing psychologists do not publish previously published data as original data ek data ke upar aapne kaam kiya research findings de di aur phir 4 5 saal ke baad us data ko aap dobara use kare this is unethical but only republish it with proper acknowledgement like aapne uh, ek health status dekha health survey kiya pakistan mein aur aapne 5 saal baad dobara health survey kiya now you are using again the 5 years old data to compare that with the new data so you can acknowledge ki isme jo data set hai ek data set 5 years old hai aur ek current hai and we are comparing them uh, with one another aur hum dekh rahe hai ki health status mein kya disparity aa rahi hai ya kya improvement aa rahi hai so without publication credit we just can't you know duplicate publication of data reviewers who review the material submitted for publication grant or research proposals review रिस्पेक्ट ऑफ कॉन्फिडेंशलिटी एंड द राइट्स ऑफ दोज हु आर सबमिटिंग दोज जर्नल्स दे जस्ट कान यू नो प्लेजराइज दे वर्क दे जस्ट कान पब्लिश दे वर्क विद ओन नेम इट्स वेरी वेरी अनएथिकल कि आपके पास एक मैन्यूस्क्रिप्ट रिव्यू के लिए आया कोई रिसर्च ग्रांट आई आपने उसको खुद कॉपी कर लिया और किसी और जगह पर उस ग्रांट को अपने नाम से सबमिट करा दिया स्टूडेंट्स में साउंड दैट वेरी सरप्राइजिंग दैट would this be a possible thing to do ever but yet there has been incidences in past in which these things has been done and to avoid them these are also being included now in code of ethics ki hum kisi ke kaam ko is tarah se review ke process mein bhi apna kaam bana kar present nahi kar sakte then coming towards the sharing research data for verification after research results are published psychologists do not withhold the data on which their conclusions are based agar aap se wo research data koi journal koi reviewer koi expert koi external examiner mangta hai to you are bound to provide those data jiske upar aapne wo substantial research ki hai psychologists who request data from other psychologists to verify the substantive claims through reanalysis may use the shared data only for the declared purposes अगर uh, एक uh, किसी रिसर्चर ने दूसरे रिसर्चर से क्लेम किया कि मेरे रिसर्च के रिजल्ट्स तो ये नहीं कह रहे जो आपके कह रहे हैं तो आप मुझसे डाटा शेयर करें आई विल कंपेयर देम विद माइन सो द डाटा कुड ओनली बी यूज फॉर दैट वेरी पर्पस रादर देन कि उससे वो कोई नई रिसर्च जनरेट कर ले तो दिस इज़ वेरी मच इम्पॉर्टेंट कि हम जिस पर्पज़ के लिए डाटा लिया है उसे सिर्फ उसी पर्पज़ के लिए यूज़ करें देन रिक्वेस्टिंग साइकोलॉजिस्ट ऑप्टेन प्रायर रिटर्न एग्रीमेंट फॉर ऑल अदर यूज़ ऑफ डाटा so to ensure that we need to have a consent from that person in writing agreement from that person that he or she will only be using the data for the purpose he is claiming for so this is very important ki hum publication duplication of credit aur isi tarah hum data management ke liye agar kisi se hum data borrow kar rahe hain usko hum verify kar rahe hain to hum in sab ethical practices ko under consideration rakhein